the format of being robot. SpongeBob was gonna be an adult show because of dirty jokes blah blah blah. I'm really tired of that theory, because it's always the same claim they make, and they really don't have much proof to back up their claim. I don't think Steven Hillenburg would plan a cartoon about sea creatures for adults, and there are a lot of claims about it, but the story I'm about to tell you is just laughing at my face for saying that. My cheapskate ass didn't want to buy any Spongebob DVDs, nor wanted to buy a streaming service just to watch my favorite shows. I looked through the internet to watch a website where you can watch shows for free. The only problem I face with websites, like this one I found, while on YouTube is that they paste porno ads or anime websites all over pirated sites. It's annoying unless if you have an ad blocker. This website was pretty old, dating far as back as 1998, mostly containing shows from Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, and even some British kids cartoons. The website says that it was last updated in 2006, because of copyright lawsuits. Surprisingly they didn't take down the website, but just private it, and if it weren't for a comment on YouTube, I wouldn't be here. Spongebob was what immediately caught my attention, mostly because it was pasted on the popular topic section. I searched for season 1 of Spongebob, because I couldn't just click on Spongebob without searching through the seasons. Help Wanted was surprisingly the only episode that was available to watch for some reason. Clicking on it just may be a dumb idea. The episode began practically the same way it always does. Spongebob gets dressed, does heavy lifts with stuffed toys, and leaves to get a job at the Krusty Krab. I'm not really listing what happens in the episode, but you can watch it on YouTube to see for yourself. Changes didn't begin, until Spongebob leaves the Krusty Krab to get a hydrodynamic spatula, with or 10 starboard attachments including a turbo drive. That's when the anchovies arrived at the Krusty Krab, causing a riot because they were hungry. I knew how the episode ends, Spongebob comes back in time to serve Krabby Patties to the anchovies, and saves the restaurant, including getting hired. But this time was different. As Mr. Krabs and Squidward said their goodbyes, and started crying. It just cut to black, along with eating noises, bone cracking and meat ripping sounds. Still cartoonish, but very intense as if it sounded real. The next scene showed Spongebob, walking to the Krusty Krab, only to see a crime scene with police tapes all around the Krusty Krab. The windows were covered in crab blood and squid blood. I swear I thought I could see Squidward's severed tentacle in the windows. Spongebob started to cry, not because Squidward and or Mr. Krabs died, but because his dream job was shut down because of the murderous anchovies. Patrick was next to Spongebob, comforting him as it pans out of the Krusty Krab. A bit unnerving, not because the episode was creepy to me, but the fact that we could have got this, instead of the happy-go-lucky episode we knew since 1999. The final scene showed a Spongebob doodle, with the words. Created by Steven Hillenburg, that should only be viewed for relatives, 1996. So this wasn't really the final version of the episode. Was he really gonna make this into something for adults? Even to this day, I'm still wondering if this was his intention, and if those Spongebob theorists were right this entire time. <laughs>